Joining us now is one of our longtime colleagues, BYU TV play-by-play -play man, and a guy who we just all around like. His name is Dave McCann. You Thank headed you. to the course Thank today you. or looking the part? Heading to the course today. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. You know, Thursdays, as we've said before, is the best day of the week. It's like the pregame show for Friday, and then you're you're into the weekend. So. Then you're in. And the weather's finally good here in Utah. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> After baseball season and softball season ends, finally gets nice. No snow. We literally had snow like a week and a half ago, <laughs> yeah, which is crazy. It's crazy. It is. Okay. Well, uh, positive vibes only. Great weather. BYU and the fans involved here are looking very keenly at what's going to be happening at the Big 12 meetings in Dallas this weekend. Wondering, are we going to learn anything new? Are we going to find out about pods or divisions or the status of the AAC teams joining? Uh, so, Dave, what are you looking at when you look at the Big 12 meetings uh, in terms of the clarity that you are hoping to have after the weekend? Well, I think this is the most significant week in the history of BYU sports with the exception of the national championship in 1984. Dave, what in the world? Explain yourself. This is this is everything BYU's tried to get. 96, they joined the WAC 16 team. They were in the WAC. They joined the 16 thing, thinking that'll give them an edge. 98, they joined the Mountain West because the WAC was too big. And they think this will get them an edge to get them into the room. The BCS comes to life in 98, uh, and the country club is formed, and they're not in it. Mm. Uh, and, and all this time, it's like, how do we get in the room? How do we get in the room? They join, they go independent as a, as a means of, let's go independent. This will put us in the best position to maybe someday get invited into the room. And today, President Worthen walks into that room, and there's a seat for him at the table. And that is significant to me, more so than anything that's ever happened at BYU, with the exception, again, of the, 90, of the 84 National Championship. So uh, it's just business meetings, and, and, and there's nothing really sexy about it except for the big picture of what's happening. And what's happening today in Dallas is BYU is at the table. You guys have talked about getting to the table since yeah. the show came on the air. Yeah. They're at the table today. That's huge. That is huge. And and I said before, too, uh, hoping BYU would get into a Power Five. And I said, I don't know if it'll ever happen. Thank you. Shout out to the SEC for grabbing Texas and Oklahoma. That was needed for this to happen. And here we are. And it's the biggest moment not in BYU athletics history, biggest in the university's history because yeah. the profile is raised. So um, I'm wondering how cool Tom Homo plays it, by the way. Walks in the room and he's like, don't freak out. This is so awesome, <laughs> right? Uh, hey, UCF, Cincy, Houston, what's up? We're in Arizona. Or, or uh, we saved you guys, you know. <laughs> We're here. You're welcome. Yeah, te Texas and Oklahoma. I like, want to sit a little yeah. higher up on the table yeah. because they were on the brink of extinction when those two left. You know, and then they remember all those rumors yep. that ESPN was trying to get them to dissolve so they would get out of paying them a billion dollars in mm -hmm. rights fees. And then Bowlesby calls out his own TV partner. Mm -hmm. We got all that stuff going on. And, uh, you know, so so here we are. And I'm wondering, um, from Tom's perspective, how much leverage, if any, he has in the room. Or is it just, hey, I'm here. We're new. We're just going to listen and kind of uh, be a fly on the wall for this versus – BYU TV needs this. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I like, think that's coming later. <laughs> right? Yeah, I think this is. there's a lot of observing going on yeah. and a lot of it's great to be here because remember, the, these spring meetings are a lot to do with the business of the day. They've got a full calendar year of sports before uh, the four teams join. They still have to find out if the three if teams do, are going to join right? yeah. when they do. And if they don't, that changes the dynamic of the schedule that's going to come out in October. And, and this isn't a football session this week it's it's the business section of it so they've got to deal with all that but in in matters of divisions and um, number of games and things like that that greatly impact the other four teams then they I think they turn back around and go what do you think what do you think and so so I think there's a mixture of it I think President Worthen will play it cool today of just hey we're here we're going to be a good partner uh, ask me something if you need something he's as going am to, i the tallest president here he like, probably, probably is probably, right. who in here has been a power forward um <laughs> but i i think they'll be observing and and there's some fascinating things to talk about you got a new commissioner you got a tv deal that actually runs out after 25 what do you do with oklahoma and texas are they really going to be around you know, that they're talking to the SEC at their meetings, which are going on at the same time, about future things with schedules and stuff. Can you, can you have one leg in both camps? Um, and, and then uh, revenue sharing. What does it mean to the, to the four teams coming in? How's that going to work until Texas and Oklahoma leave? So those kind of things 
I think will will be tossed around. And and then President Worthen and and Tom get to chime in on on some of that. Like, uh, hey, we're all for a nine team, you know, regular season conference game, yep. or uh, we're all for getting the most <laughs> money possible, <laughs> the most money possible. <laughs> yeah. But I think there's some gratitude and humility from BYU coming into this today because they know where they've been. The scars are up and down their back of of being in the whack in the Mountain West and, and independent and um, and the healing balm <laughs> is is coming on July 1, 23. That human air in Dallas. Yeah. Healing. Yeah, human it's great for the skin. Uh, <laughs> but what a day. What a what a week for, for BYU to have a presence there. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure it's big for Houston and, and Central Florida and and Cincinnati, but they still gotta buy their way out of their leagues. Sure. Yeah. For BYU we come in independent yeah. with some liberty. Now, an interesting perspective that you bring, Dave, uh, looking ahead as, as BYU now begins their seat at the table. We're discussing uh, BYU's fit in the Big 12 and, I guess, what we're hoping to learn this weekend, if anything at all. I, I mean, to your point, it's just great to be at the table. We learned from Tom Homo a couple of months ago that BYU is going to receive half revenue for the first two years. Um, what, are you, what else are you hoping for uh, in, in terms of enlightenment after these meetings, other than it's just cool to be at the table. But the football meetings are what? Second week of July. And, and then I think we'll get more. That's when we're going to get the other coaches talking about BYU and Cincinnati and the others. But So that's the football fix of it, I think. And this one, I, I think it's, it's, it's more of an overall we're in, we're being treated like a member of this, of this, even though we don't really have a say yet, per se, on the issues of the day, which, which you know, the next 12 months of Big 12 sports. Um, and I don't think there are any giant revelations that come from it, except for maybe, hey, those three schools can't get their money, and so they're not going to join in 23. I, maybe something like that could come out. Yeah. They're all saying, no, we're still getting it together. We're on track to, to be there. But really, that's the only thing that could jolt uh, this transition uh, in, in 23. Would you prefer that? Would you prefer BYU be like the lone ranger of sorts, the new guy alone for one year before the AAC brings in three teams? Or are you just like, hey, let's just get the new thing going? You know, selfishly, it would get us probably Oklahoma and Texas on our schedule. More likely. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I kind of like that. You know, it's 14 teams is a lot. You know, we saw what happened with 16 with the WAC. It was just too many. Um, you didn't appreciate BYU and Rice? No, I did appreciate <laughs> BYU and Hawaii, but I did not appreciate Rice. And I was down at UNLV. I was yeah. I actually emceed the initial press conference with all 16 coaches there of the WAC in 96 because I was a sportscaster down there. And I remember I didn't know what to do. I had, there were so many guys on the dais. And I thought, what? <laughs> how can we break the ice here? And I got a thought at the last second. I go, I'm going to have – this head coach say something about this head coach to his left. And we went through all 16. And two hours later. <laughs> and, well, you know, they didn't have a lot of good things to say, so it was short. Yeah. But, I mean, involved the Lavelle and Fishy to Berry and all those guys. But by the time we were done, it took about maybe 10 minutes or so, it just felt like everyone was friends and we were in this together. But then they found out it was too big. And that's why. In that moment. Yeah. <laughs> because of that idea. There what have we done? We've made a terrible the next, decision. The next right. year I had to come up with some other gig. But, <laughs> but it, it, and it whittled down to, to the Mountain West. Yeah. And, then, and then, as we said, it, it got us to this point. But um, I, I just think it's part of it for me is that it won't really feel real until we get the schedule in October. Because then you have a name and a date and a opponent yes. and another one. Now we're thinking one, about one. Texas Tech. Yeah. Now we're thinking about TCU again. But today is the first taste of that. And then in the football meetings, again, it'll all be about Oklahoma and Texas, uh, naturally. But then there has to come the questions of, for the other schools, well, what do you think of this? And what do you think of BYU? And some of it we've heard already, but they'll all be together. So that'll be fun in July. You guys should go down there. Texas is nice and cool in July. <laughs> it's a great place to be. I think that's where they have them. I went last July to Dallas. Yeah. It, it was not that. Yeah, no, exactly. no it's, it's not at all. Jerem's I, still feeling the UV from that trip. <laughs> yeah, went for a concert. It was awesome. But, um, yeah, I, I, the, the key to everything that happens with uh, the Big 12 meetings to me is, are the three in the AAC coming in early or not? Like, if they're not, then the schedule's totally different, right? So it'll be interesting. And saw a report this morning saying that it's all but finalized one report that they will join next right. year and they will buy themselves out. So that is uh, that is exciting. So and it's interesting that Texas would buy themselves out 
because they got all the money in the world. But they wouldn't. But Oklahoma won't. Oh, Texas wants to. And they've got to go together. And so Texas got to wait. It's kind of waiting on Oklahoma. They're like, you don't make as much money. They got different. <laughs> they got different banks over there in Oklahoma. Oklahoma's like, we have Sooner Vision. Let's go. And I'm glad that that they're going to be in for a couple years. I think it's yeah. great to to have that talent level in there, totally. as opposed to having them bolt and then we start. Uh, with just the new group. So we'll see what happens. But uh, there's going to be a lot of... Can you imagine the uh, the awkwardness in the room today when Texas's presence there and Oklahoma's presence there and any future question comes up? I'd pay good money to just sit in the back, <laughs> honestly, to, see, to feel the We're awkwardness. We're going to have to ask yeah. President Worthen when he gets back. Hey, so did they... Did they ask you to say something nice about them? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Say something nice about these guys. And um, yeah, I'm just curious to see... See how that 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 goes because uh, it's a crazy dynamic, and and BYU is totally grateful that they're leaving. It's the only way right. that they're they're even getting into mm -hmm. the to the P5. Yeah. But uh, but President Worthen's walking in there as a P5 today. That's pretty cool. That? Pretty fantastic, yeah. Dave. Great to have you with us. Uh, we got to let you take your Big 12 golf game to the course now. <laughs> So that you can go do whatever I'm you need to do I'm probably going to get a 12 on the first B hole. Big so. 12 over. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be yeah. something like that. Yeah. Good Thanks. luck. Thanks, guys. Good luck.